I'm a beautiful family and welcome to this video. So many of you guys ask me to do a video where I talk about the products that are on my wish list. Since the video, I mean you ask all the time, but especially since the video I did where I reviewed or talked about the products, new launches that I'm not going to buy. So I thought today uh, I'm not going to do anything special, but I do want to put some makeup and play with some new and old favorites or some new makeup I haven't tried out and my old favorites. And I thought that I would um, talk about my wish list, which is a long. So I don't want this video to be very boring or me just sitting and talking. I'm going to kind of move a little bit so I can insert the pictures I'm talking about. And at the same time, I'm going to do my makeup. If you're interested to see what products are on my wish list, the products I really, really wish I had, and uh, going may maybe going to say for Diane, please keep on watching. I don't have any face moisturizer on, so I'm going to use this vitamin enriched face base uh, from Bobbi Brown as my moisturizer and and also as my face primer. So this video was very hard for me to make and it's not because I don't have products I want, it's because there are many products I want. There are products that were limited edition that don't exist anymore and products that I can't get here in Sweden. And also I do love makeup, I'm obsessed with makeup especially palettes and I collect palettes. Mm, this one smells so fresh like orange. Mm, I love that. There is always something new all every day two three different brands coming out with new products and I'm very very excited about that but also my wallet isn't very excited. I can't buy everything I want uh, but there are some many products that I wish I had. I'm going to also go in with Tarte Primer to fill in my pores. Okay, so while I'm applying a primer, I can talk about the first product that I really want to try. And unfortunately, it's not available in Sweden and from their website, I can't order it here. The first product is Poreless Putty Primer from ELF. I think I pronounced that right. Is that ELF primer that's really popular and it's kind of dupe for that Tatcha primer that I wish also I could try, but the Tatcha products are not available here. Of course, I would like to try some Tatcha products and also skincare, maybe in the future. I don't know. I can buy from their website. The shipping is so expensive. I wish I could buy that. But that e.l.f. primer was on my list and is on my list. Unfortunately, I can't buy it from e.l.f. Website because they don't ship to Sweden and Swedish Elf website doesn't have that product. It doesn't have the new releases at all. It's it's a very hard to get it here, and unfortunately I can't get that primer. But I really wish I could buy and try it. It's hard. The other product also that it's not at all available here in Sweden is the Kiss eyelash glue. I watch many YouTubers that use that pro that product, that eyelash glue and it's very very popular but I can't buy it here. We do have some of the eyelash eyelashes from Kiss but not eyelash glue. I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dew Drops on my face. Like, uh, because I tried that a couple of times and it looked amazing under the foundation. It gave me that, that nice healthy glow under the um, full coverage matte foundation. So I'm going to use that today. I got this from my friend Valerie. I've been loving it. And also was on my wish list, but I couldn't buy it. It was too expensive. But thank you Valerie for buying this for me. Um, I love it. The next product is Jeffree Star Lip Glosses. Now, they are available here right now, uh, so I do have possibility to, to buy them. The problem is that, oh, this smells so good. The problem is that I unfortunately can't afford it right now and I don't want to buy just one shade. The shades I'm interested in are Legend Only, or Legends Only, I'm sorry if I pronounce anything wrong, Candy Drip, Diamond Juice, Shockwave and Wet Peach. Uh, they look very nice and I'm interested to see 
how the lip glosses are of his. Now, if you know me, I wasn't a big fan of lip glosses for a year ago, but then I bought the full collection of those uh, bare, mineral, bare, bare Minerals, these lip glosses from Bare Minerals, and I've been loving them. And uh, now I'm into the lip glosses, so that's life. I sometimes change my mind. Then I'm going to go in with Lancome Tent, I Tent Idol Ultra Wear 24 uh, Hours Wear and Comfort Foundation. This is in shade 1. I hope it's right shade now. Let's see, what do we have more? Yes, and also he just, the Jeffree Star just brought back one shade that was very popular of his liquid lipsticks and it was the shade Cherry Wept. I love cherries and cherry is my favorite color um, and I've been wanting that for a long time, that lipstick. Uh, unfortunately it wasn't available here in Sweden. Right now it is so I do can, I can buy it and definitely maybe ah, will definitely buy it of course because I do want that. So that color that's kind of pinkish red berry shade uh, very bright though kind of scary to use but i really like his green that i bought i can't find it right now the green shade that i bought from him and i've been loving that i feel like i do need to go in with the brush for this foundation and then go over with the sponge uh pure pure I think it's pronounced. They just came out with a new foundation with 100 different shades. It's called 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And I want it in, I think when I went on the website, the shade, you can like do a quiz and uh, get you, get a shade that maybe suits you. When I did compare it with the foundation of Revolution, number eight that I use in love, the shade MP1 came as a match so I would like to try that foundation. I did contact the Pure Cosmetics here in Sweden to see if it's going if it's a, available here or if it will or if it's going to be available in the future and they said it's going to come here to Sweden in the fall late fall and that kind of made me a little bit disappointed because it's so hyped up now. Everybody loves that foundation and I would love to try it, but I have to wait till the end of the fall 2019 to be able to get that foundation in MP1 and try it. Oh my God. Oh, I love this foundation. And you see, it gives me nice glow with that Marc Jacobs drops under it. Okay, so let's go to the concealer. I'm going to use the Juvier, 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 I can't pronounce this brand. Juvier in shade Wheat. Okay, let's see, what's the next? Yes, Too Faced new mascara, damn girl. Oh, that one looks good. Better than sex ma mascara made my lashes long. <laughs> I really loved how it looked on my lashes, though I didn't like it because it smudged so much under my eyes. It was unbelievable. I did bought it last year and I tried it and unfortunately I do have that video somewhere on my channel. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. For me, it smudged and I did bought the, the waterproof one too. Also didn't work. I do have it somewhere. I didn't use it. It's too old. I need to get rid of it, but oh my, I mean, it made my eyelashes look so long and full, like falsies, but it smudged. And even the waterproof, it smudged and it flaked. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my face, set my face, set my foundation and concealer. So I really want to try that new mascara. Maybe that will work better. It's available here in Sweden. In Sephora so I'll probably get it soon when I kind of finish the other five mascaras that I opened okay what's next oh 
Yes, Natasha Denona, Sunrise Palette, the new palette. The cheaper one also, because it's smaller. Uh, oh, that will go so perfect with the, the Sunrise Palette that I own. I love um, Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. I don't think they're worth, worth $120. But this one have price. Uh, this one, that price is okay. It's still uh, it's still expensive, but it's okay price. Uh, that one is so beautiful. But the problem is, it is on my wish list, and I wish I could get it as a present because I wouldn't buy it myself. Not that it's not beautiful. It's because I do think I have some similar shades. So it's nothing that I really need in my collection, though I would like it. Uh, my sister bought that palette, so I'll definitely uh, borrow, it, borrow it from her and do like a makeup look with that on my channel. And if I like it so much, I will save for that palette. I do want it, it's, it is on my wish list, but uh, I'm going to see how it looks in real. I'm going to play with it because my sister, like I said, have that palette. I haven't seen it myself. She does have it, she just got it a couple of days ago, so I'm going to borrow that from her and see if I like it as much as she does. So I'm going to do my contour now and I'm going to go in my old favorite from Wet n Wild palette. i use this color. I don't hit pan in many products, but this is my second Morphe bronzer. Okay, I haven't tried many products from Morphe. Uh, um, the Jaclyn Hill palette and also Jaclyn Hill collection eyeshadows. Uh, I have those. I do like. I also have one of those neutral brown. I don't reach for it a lot, but that bronze icon. I think it's called icon. I'll put inside the picture. That one looks amazing. I really want it. Um, I'm going to use this Essence matte bronzer first. Then I'm going to go in with another bronzer. I mean that. That bronzer looks so good. And I try to buy it by try to buy it, but it's out of stock every time I want to order it. So I'm not fast enough, unfortunately. But that one looks so good. I do have a lot of bronzes, but I really want that one in my collection. Uh, and it's affordable also. Uh, I wanted to buy it from Feel Unique. I'm not sure when they are going to get it back in stock. Hopefully soon. Or was it look fantastic? I'm not really sure. But uh, they didn't know when they are going to get it in the stock. And I hope soon. But I really want that bronzer. That one looks so good. This one is matte. So I'm going to use my old favorite. This is from Wet n Wild. That ticket to Brazil. Uh, this one is one of my favorite bronzers in the pan you see and just be, this one is a little bit not shiny but it has a ni that nice shine finish oh, I got something in my eye I love looking sun-kissed and for the blush I'm also going to go with the wet and wild color icon this is in pearlescent pink uh, one of my favorite okay then we have I feel like this this video is going to be a long one and I'm all over the place but I hope you'll stick with me okay we have another one Charlotte Timberley Tilbury Tilbury I uh, can't pronounce her name okay she just released the new hot lip to lipstick collection that is inspired from uh, different uh, women and those nude shades I want them I, I can't I don't remember the name of them, I didn't write it down, but those nude, nude shades, I really, really want them. Actually, I want all the collection, but I can, I can live without those reds, uh, but the new, nude ones, they look beautiful. Unfortunately, the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks didn't work out, so I did get, I did get, got my money back, um, but... Now I need nude lipsticks, and those look wonderful. Very expensive, though. But I want them. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy them. Maybe in the future. I can't afford right now, but uh, the swatches, the videos, I have seen them all and they look so beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, guys, my face looks nice. I love it. Uh, let's go to the eyebrows. I'm going to use this Bro Counter Pro. Okay, what's the next? Yes, Charlotte Timberley or Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. That's kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it is it, it's kind of like a foundation base or not, it's not a primer, but I want it. It looks so wonderful on other people when they use it. It, when they use it in their videos and also in real life and I want it I want it in the shade I know it's three light medium I don't know when I can buy it because it's not really cheap um, and it's not something that I need like foundation or primer or eyeshadow primer actually I don't need eyeshadow palettes too but I buy them <laughs> Uh, but I want to try that product. I don't know if it's going to work on my skin, but I'm really interested. Okay, so what's next on my wish list? Before I go further, I'm going to prime my eyes with my new Anastasia Anastasia Eye Primer. I love that this primer, but look what I hate. This is so full with the product because every time I open it, the product starts to come out. So you do get a lot of product in here, but I love this eyeshadow primer. I have a video on on my channel. Okay, Hourglass Veal Translucent Setting Powder. Hourglass Veal Translucent Setting Powder is something that I had in my um, card a couple of times, but I never ended buying it because I do have a lot of powders, but I don't know really why. I felt like, do I really need it or not? But it is on my wish list. I wish I could get it. Right now I can't afford it, but I wish I could buy it and try it. I want it in my collection. That one looks stunning. The product I had in my wish on my wish list a year ago is a year ago, a couple of months ago, is this Kat von D Kat von D Lolita eyeshadow palette. And so much drama. I don't follow it. This is vegan and cruelty free. Uh, I loved the look of this palette and it was 50% off. So I bought it. I haven't used it at all. Look at these shades. I did buy the Lolita liquid lipstick. I wish I bought the bullet one because that one seems better than the liquid. My friend, my coworker had this one on and it looks so beautiful on her. And I didn't know what shade it was. I asked her what the brand is and she said it was Kat Von D, but she didn't, she, she didn't remember the shade. And then I immediately said Lolita. And, and she was like, yes, that was the right one. Yes, it's Lolita. And I didn't know why. I never saw Lolita in real life, but I knew it was very popular shade. So I went over to the Sephora and bought myself. I bought the liquid lipstick and I love this shade. Then I saw this one and it was so beautiful. But I didn't buy it because it's matte shades and I never never go in with only mattes. Uh, but I really wanted it, but it was a little bit expensive for what you get. But right now, 50% off on Sephora's website here in Sweden. So of course I went and bought it. I know, so I'm going to use it in this video today. Um, so what do we have more? I'm going to go in with this first shade here. Okay, so... There is a product that I watched a couple of times people talking about and I got so interested in it. It's this new, new face Trinity facial trainer and Ely or Ele att attachment set. I don't know if I pronounce that right. Oh, these are a little bit powdery. I'm going to go in with this shade here in my crease. I mean, this product looks amazing. And I watched before and after videos. And you know what, guys? I'm going to save money to buy this one. 
I know it's expensive, but it looks amazing. I do have hooded eyes and they're getting more hooded every for every year. And I don't like that. I feel like my face looks a little bit old sometimes. And that product looks so good. And people are... I fall. I do fall for reviews. So they bought me there the reviews of that product. So I really want that one. It looks so good. But it's going to take me some time to buy that one. Because it is expensive. But I really, 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 really want it. I'm going to go into Lolita. Oh my god, this is pigmented. Oh, I didn't thought it would be this pigmented. Essence Highlighter. They just released new highlighters, two shades. And I don't know, they look on the picture to be a little bit darker. I don't know if that's the case with it. Uh, because sometimes sh the pictures don't show the real shade. Or, uh, But I really, I would like to try them. They're, they look so beautiful, have some cherry on them. Uh, I don't know if they're released, definitely not here in Sweden, but I don't know if it's available now in US or not. I'm not really sure, but it looked so good. It looks, it looked very, very nice. Wow, oh, I love this shade. The blending, very nice. This is my first time using or trying the Kat Von D eyeshadows. I haven't tried them before. Okay, so I, uh, let's go to the next. Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I would like that in light, uh, in one of the light or medium shades. That one, I think it's still not available. I'm going to go in this Con Amor shade here. To dark up the edge a little bit. Oh, these are so pigmented. More pigmented on the eye than in the pan. Uh, I really want to try that foundation. That one looks nice. That probably is going to be available here in Sweden. I'm not really sure, but I would like to try that foundation. In one of the light to medium shades. It looks interesting. Everything that will even skin tone and make the pores less visible. That sounds good to me. Uh, I'm going to go in with this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, brush in 52. And I'm going to take this shade, can't pronounce it, but this second shade here, all of the lid or the rest of the lid here. Without any concealer or with, they are very powdery. Um, I don't know. We'll see if it's going to how it's going to look. Uh, what do I want more? I want Physician Formulas. So I do want the new Physician's Formula, new Petal Glow highlighters in soft, petal, and freshly picked. I think that's the two lighter shades, lightest shades in that uh, collection. There is four different highlighters. Physician Formula is available here in Sweden, but not all of the products, far, far from all of the products, especially not the new newest launches. Um, all the foundations and blushes, they're available, but not all of the lip glosses, not all of the new uh, kind of uh, highlighters or collabs, that's not at all possible to get here. But those new shades or new highlighters look so good, the two new lighter shades. I think they are called uh, Soft Pedal and Freshly Picked. Those two I really want to try. I don't think they are going to be available here in Sweden at all, but unfortunately I can't order from their website either. But they are, they are on my wish list. Oh, there is some um, fallout from... But it looks good. I mean, it looks so nice. Then I do want Urban Decay's new Stay Naked Foundation. Uh, I tried the other naked foundation from uh, the old one from the Urban Decay and I didn't like it at all. It made, I do have oily T-zone and combo skin. That one was so drying on my skin. It was 
terrible. I know some of my friends tried it and they have dry skin and it looked amazing on them, but for some reason that foundation and my skin skin didn't really go well together. Does it didn't matter what prime I used, I tried different primers because that foundation was expensive. I think I still have it somewhere if I didn't get rid of it. Uh, I never use it. I just have it, I think, to compare it with other foundations. But I uh, want to try that new one. That one looks great. I don't know if it's uh, if it launched or it's going to launch soon in the summer. I'm not really sure. But that one looks so good. I also want to try oh, that Marc Jacobs Tentally. I think it's pronounced right. I'm not sure. But that Omega bronzer. The lighter shade, they just released a darker shade, but that lighter shade I think will suit me. I really want that bronzer. Like you see, I love bronzers. Uh, I want to try it. I don't know, I think it's available here, but it's just too expensive. And I really want it. It's on my wish list. It is on my wish list. I wish to have it. It looks so beautiful, but that's also mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it. I don't know, I just want to try it myself. Oh, I like this uh, makeup look. I'm going to go into lightest shade here. Okay, so I have a couple of more products that are on my wish list, so let's continue. Fenty Beauty Bronzer, tried it in In The Sun. I think that's the light shade with neutral undertone. It, no, it's fair shade with neutral undertone. That one looks good, but I'm not really sure if that's too light for me. But the other one is Island Thing, I think it's called. And it's more like medium neutral thing. Neutral, medium with neutral undertone. I haven't seen them in real life. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't seen them in real, so I don't know how they look. But that bronzer I want to try too in one of the new uh, natural uh, undertones. I'm going to take Lolita and kind of work it under the low lash line. I also want to try the Fenty Beauty Lip Paint in Nude Shades. They have different shades, I think. I'm not really sure how many shades they are, they are but the nude ones look so good. And everybody loves it that try that product. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm curious. I'm curious. I really want to try it. I'm going to take corner more too and just work it in third of the low lash line. I'm going to do mas my mascara and I'll be back. Sorry guys, I thought that my camera was on while I was doing the rest of my face, but or the mascara, I do have the Kaya Cosmetics Bips Boom Boom uh, Lash Mascara. And in my waterline, I do have this Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner that my friend Valerie sent to me in a box swap. This is a nice purple shade. And I really like it. Do have it. Uh, I do have it in my low lash line. It goes perfect with this palette. And on my lips, I do have the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in shade Big Proposal. And of course, the liquid lipstick. Where is it? was just here, Lolita. And I do have a last product that is on my wish list. It's the Cover FX Gripping Primer. That primer was available on Beauty Bay and I really wanted to purchase it, but it got out of stock very fast and it's still not available over there. I don't know if I'm going to get it soon because I did order the, the Hourglass Veil Primer in Jumbo. I love that primer. That was best primer ever but i really want to try the cover effects one gripping primer uh this one so i that was that is on my wish list so guys we are done with the makeup look and we are done with my wish list there is a lot of products i want many many more but these are products that i really wish i had in my collection and i think they look amazing and something that i think uh, i'm going to get in somewhere in the future um, but the only problem is, of course, 
we'll see if I'll be able to get all of the, these products from somehow, but I really want them and they are on my wish list. Unfortunately, some of them are not available here in Sweden, but, but maybe they will be in the future. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Guys, I hope you don't forget that I have a um, giveaway going on on my channel. So don't forget to follow that. I'm going to put the code up here so you can check it out and see what the price is and what are the rules. But it's an amazing giveaway and I also have two more giveaways soon on my channel. I already have products for that. I'm just waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting. I'm just waiting to put them out there. But guys, that was everything. I hope you like this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this video. I thought that it would be a boring one, but I hope I hope it's not. Uh, I got to play with my new palette from Kat Von D. Uh, this is an amazing eyeshadow palette. It's very powdery, but uh, very pigmented. Very very pigmented. Now I don't know how many different makeup looks I can use, but I don't own anything like this, and I'm glad I have it in my collection. Uh, Lolita is a beautiful shade. Please guys, let me know down below what products you do, do you have on your wish list. Is there any product that you want me to have in a future giveaway? Let me know down below. I will definitely try to put them in there. I think that's the best thing. If you let me know what you want, I can create a, create a package or a giveaway for you guys. So let me know down below what's on your wish list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video. Bye.